Hey guys, good day. Welcome again here in It's a Tech YouTube channel, your tech tips buddy. In this video, we will upgrade this laptop storage. The reason is the owner complaining that her laptop is laggy. It might be because this laptop is using HDD or hard disk drive as the main storage. Luckily, this laptop had an NVMe slot. So now, let's start. <laughs> As you can see, I have here NVMe storage which have 250 gigabytes of storage size. This 250 gigabyte storage is for the operating system or as the main drive to boot up this laptop. The model of this laptop is Acer EX 215-21G67M7. Alright let's start unscrew, use always the correct screwdriver size to avoid damage. Sorry for the cup I use, I forgot to bring mine, use the magnet plate so that the screw will not lost. If you were asking where I bought this set of screw of mine, it's from Shopee here in Philippines, an online shop like Amazon. He'll be silent for a while, enjoy the unscrew moment. Alright the screws has been removed, I will use a thin plastic so we can remove the back cover carefully. The back cover has been removed now with no damage. If you see dust in your computer or laptop, especially in fan, clean it using smooth brush so will not damage the small parts. Here is the NVMe slot. This is the location where our NVMe as main storage will be inserted later. And here is the old main storage, the one terabyte hard disk drive. Most of the laptop today's have NVMe ready. If you want a laptop installed already in NVMe as main storage, well, that will cost higher. The old HDD storage will not remove it, will serve as a secondary storage where the files of owner or user are located. But you should reformat that if you want good performance of the old hard drive. You can delete manually, but format is the best for me. Okay, let's unwrap this NVMe and screw this to secure the storage.
All right, the storage has been secured. It's time for testing, but attach first the back cover. Okay, let's boot up, and let's see if the NVMe storage is detected by the BIOS. If you're asking how to enter the BIOS, press the power then delete button. As you can see our NVMe is detected, we have here Kingston brand, that's our NVMe storage. Before we install the operating system, let's check and enable first here some settings. I am using UEFI Ready Bootable USB Drive. If you are asking how to create a USB bootable drive, we have already a video for that. Just check this. We also enable this F12 option so we can select our bootable drive. Actually, you can do automatic, but I prefer pressing this and depends upon your motherboard. All right, let's start and wait to install the Windows operating system. So here, I will not reformat the old drive as the owner wants, but the problem of this the old operating system installed at the old hard disk drive will pop up every you boot up. You need to select where the operating will load. As I mentioned earlier, the best option for me is to reformat the old drive and back up and restore only the important files. This is what I am saying, it always shown this option menu if you want to delete or reformat the old drive. But our new NVMe drive is the main storage working properly. You actually remove manually but for me I always back up the important files and restore after reformat. But before that you need the permission of the owner or if yours choose the best option and easiest way for you. Alright guys thank you for watching this video thank you for your support hopes it helps. The installation is successful and working properly. If you own the same laptop as this, we can upgrade the storage also with the memory. If this video helps you please don't forget to like, subscribe, post good comment and share this video tutorial. Once again guys thank you and have a nice day.